Hello and welcome to Flamingo Chicks. We're going to learn about science by dancing. Let's start with our welcome circle. Everyone gather round. We're going to become flamingos. One, two, three. Wow! I want to see your flamingo. Can you show me your flamingo? Does it stand up tall or use its eyes to go big or small? Maybe it spreads its wings and stretches out wide or does it use its fingers as feathers to hide? Does it stand on one leg or use its head to move? I want to see your flamingo get in the groove. Where are we going on our journey today? It's time to find out so we can get on our way. Help me make some magic to reveal the theme. We're going to wriggle and wriggle and point at the screen. Three, Le Corsair, which means the pirate. Wow, can you see the pirate ship? Let's swim to it. We're going to dive into the water. You could do that like this, whoosh. Or it might be with your head, or with your eyes looking where you're gonna go. And then let's swim through. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Whoosh. Into the water, wow. Let's swim through everybody. You could swim using your arms, or it might be your head, or maybe it's your feet. Well done. Oh, look, some fish. Let's say hello to the fish. Wow. Keep swimming, everyone. Oh, look, there's a dolphin that's diving in and out. Wow, nice. Let's say hi to the dolphin. Amazing. Keep swimming. We're nearly there. Well done. Oh, and a mermaid. <gasps> Say hello to the mermaids. Fantastic. Oh, look, there's the ladder to climb onto the pirate ship. Let's climb up the ladder, everybody. So we're going to be reaching, pulling with our bodies to climb up the ladder. Keep climbing. That's it. You could use your hands and feet, or you might use your head, or it might be your shoulders that climb. Keep going, or your eyes. Well done. And then let's jump onto the pirate ship. Whoosh! Here we are. Well, this looks great. Oh, hang on. We better dry ourselves off from all of that swimming. Let's give our bodies a shake. That's it. Keep shaking. Shake all the water off of your body. Wriggling, shaking. Let's make sure we dry ourselves off. Fantastic, everyone. Excellent. We could even brush some of the water off of our bodies, or somebody could help us do that. Lovely. Oh, I feel dry now. Okay, it's time to get the pirate ship ready to go on a journey. First of all, we need to scrub the deck. That means get the deck to the floor of the pirate ship, nice and clean and ready. So you could do that in lots of different ways. I'm going to imagine I've got a big broom and I'm going whoosh and scrubbing the deck with a big broom, whoosh, whoosh. Or you might want to get down and scrub. Imagine you've got a scrubbing brush and scrub like this. Or you might want to explore the movement of scrubbing like this, or somebody could do that for you so you can feel what that might be like. Or it might be more about moving your feet and imagining scrubbing with your feet or with your eyes as you look around and each part that you look at gets nice and clean and ready. Keep scrubbing everybody. Whew. Scrub, scrub. That's it, scrub, scrub. Well done, very nice. Okay, next we need to set the sails. So we're going to get them to open nice and big so that they can help our 
our ship move forwards. So to do that, we go like this. One, two, three, pull. You could do that in different ways. You could do it like this with your hands. One, two, three, pull. And your hands move up like they're holding onto a big rope and then pull them down. Or you might want to tap or clap the rhythm. One, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull. Or one, two, three, pull. Or it might be that somebody helps you feel the movement. So you go up. One, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull. If you've got your parent there, you could even pull gently on each other so that you can feel that movement of what it's like to pull the sails. <gasps> wow, everybody. Well done. Okay, let's keep setting the sails. Here we go. One, two, three, pull. <gasps> Amazing. Twice more. One, two, three, pull. And again. One, two, three. Well done everyone. So we've scrubbed the deck and we've set the sails. Next thing we need to do is have a look out and see what's around the ship. So we might shade our eyes from the sun like this and have a little look around. Or it might be more about moving our head in different directions. Or maybe it's about our eyes moving. You might want to move your body in the directions that you're looking. Keep looking out, everybody. Very nice. Great. Okay, I think we're almost ready. Now, the last thing we have to do is a very special pirate salute. This is what we do every time we're ready to go. Okay, and it goes like this. Aye, aye, Captain. So you can do that in lots of ways. You might want to do this pirate move, which is a scoop down and up. And you can scoop down and up with your arms and hands. Or it might be your head down and up. Or it might be your body down and up. Or your eyes down and up. However you want to do your scoop. And then you could say, aye, aye, Captain. Or you could use your signing to say it. Or maybe you say it with your eyes, so you open your eyes wide and then close them again. And that means that we know that we are ready to go. So, show me your pirate salute however you would like to do it. Ready? Steady? Go! Aye aye, Captain! Wow, amazing everyone! That was really good! Okay, so it's time to go. We're going to go on a journey fully a treasure map. Wow! Going to see if we can find some treasure. That's very exciting. Now on our map are lots of different places that we need to go and the treasure is kept in a cave which belongs to somebody called Conrad. Now do you remember I said Le Corsair earlier? That's the name of the ballet that we're inspired by for this class. Conrad is the lead character in Le Corsair. He's the main pirate. So we're going to travel to Conrad's cave and see if we can find his treasure. Are you ready? Excellent. Here we go. So we're going to get on our boat, make sure those sails are set. We need to do our pirate salute, remember? Let's do it. One, two, three. Aye, aye, Captain. Fantastic! Oh wow, let's see what's around us as our boat is travelling. I wonder where the first stop on our pirate ship is going to be. Oh! It's Crocodile Lagoon. Oh, this is where the crocodiles live. Shall we see if we can do some crocodile dancing? Yeah. Now, crocodiles have big mouths that open and then go snap to close. 
Let's have a go. So we can do open and close. You might use your arms to do that. Or maybe it's your hands or your fingers. E. Or maybe it's about making your body big and then closing it down really quickly and going really small. So we go opening nice and big and then close and go really small. Fantastic everyone. Let's keep doing our crocodiles. Your crocodile might like to do a different rhythm as well. It might go big and then quick, big and slow, and then small and quick, big and slow, and then small and quick. Up to you. Keep moving your crocodiles. Wow. Wow, brilliant crocodiles, everybody. Now, at Crocodile Lagoon, the crocodiles also like to swim in a circle. In ballet, we call that a pirouette. So that's when we go all the way around in a circle, like that. Or you might want to do a circle with a different part of your body, like your wrist and hands, or your fingers, or maybe your eyes, or your head. Or you can make circles with your shoulders, or your feet. So let's have a go, have a practice of some circles. Imagine that you are the crocodile that's going and swimming in your circles. That's it everybody. Keep going. Round and round. Lovely. Brilliant. Big crocodiles, little crocodiles, baby crocodiles and our circles. Very nice everyone. Well done. Now there isn't any treasure at Crocodile Lagoon. So we'd better get back onto our pirate ship and go to the next place on our treasure map. And we're back on the ship, here we go. So, is the ship ready to go? We better do our pirate salute, here we go. One, two, three, aye aye, Captain. Fantastic, off we go again on our pirate ship. Amazing. Did you know that there are four main parts of a ship. There's the hull, there's the underwater fin, the mast and the sails. Now then I wonder where our ship is taking us to next.
floats on the water and doesn't sink. Do you know? It's because when the ship goes on the water, it pushes lots of water out of the way, loads and loads of water. And the ship weighs less than the amount of water that it's pushed out of the way. And that's what helps it float, so that it can float on the water and go on its journey. Okay, ooh, we have come to a very special place next. This is Flamingo Island. Did you know there's a real Flamingo Island and it's in a place called Aruba? Oh look, here comes a flamingo. Should we see if we can feed it? Let's come down and say hello. See if we can feed it some food. Wow, how lovely. Now then, did you remember practicing your flamingos earlier on? Well, now we're going to think about their really long legs and their really long neck. And they like to stand on one leg and practice some balancing. So let's have a go and see if we can balance. Now, you could do this on one leg if you want to, or it might be something like balancing your finger on the top of your hand, or maybe on the top of your parent's hand. That's it. Or you might want to balance your hand on the top of somebody else's maybe your hand on someone's shoulder or on the top of your head or it might be more about reaching and lifting through your head and your neck and your eyes in ballet we do a position called an arabesque and that's when we reach through our bodies and we try and balance and hold and reach and make ourselves long and then relax so you could do a balance like that too reaching and opening through your body and your eyes Holding it still for a moment and relaxing. Lovely. Let's keep balancing, everybody. Find your different ways to balance. Well done, everyone. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. We're making ourselves really long, just like the flamingos. Let's do one more long stretch. You make yourself really long like those flamingos' legs. Lovely and relax. Fantastic. Now, we're very close to the treasure, but the treasure isn't at Flamingo Island either. So it's time to go to our next place. Let's get back on our ship. Ready for our pirate salute. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's see where are we going now. Do you know how a boat moves forwards? Shall I tell you? It's because of the sails. They are shaped a little bit like wings and they work with the wind to help the boat move forwards. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> it's Conrad's cave. We've made it. We found the cave and the treasure is inside. Let's go in and see what we can find. <gasps> wow, this is amazing. Oh, the first piece of treasure is a gold bar. Now these are very heavy. Ooh, can you make your body heavy? <laughs> That's it. It might be one side of your body's heavy or the other side or maybe it's your head that's heavy or your eyes that are heavy or shoulders. Ooh. That's great keeping me heavy everyone. Just like those gold pieces of treasure. Oh, Wow. <gasps> Amazing. There's so much treasure. Oh, the next piece of treasure is a sword. Have you ever seen a sword before? They're really long and pirates use them like this. Whoosh, whoosh. So you could pretend if you want that you're holding a sword and you could draw some lines as you pretend. Or you might like to pretend that one part of your body is a sword. And they have to go quick and sharp and in a long line. So it could be your arm, it could be your fingers, move up and down, could be your hand, could be your legs, nice and sharp and quick. Well done everybody, keep doing your swords. That's it, wow, amazing. Our third piece of treasure is a gemstone. And these are special gems that are lovely colours and they're very sparkly. So we're 
we're going to have a go at doing some sparkles. Now to do that, we're going to think about closing gently and then opening and reaching and maybe having a little wriggle as well. Just sort of like a star in the sky. Try that again. So you might use your hands and fingers, you might use your eyes, you could drop your head, you could close your body and then open it out as if you're a bright shining gemstone. Wow. Now you could keep doing some very small and gentle sparkles. You might want to do some big bright ones. It's up to you. That's it, show me your gems. <gasps> wow, look how sparkly you all are. That's amazing. <gasps> wow. <gasps> Let's do two more sparkles. One and two. Well done everyone, amazing, that's so exciting, well done for finding the treasure, I hope you've had fun on our pirate adventure today, it's time for us to go home, so one more time let's do our pirate salute and we'll go home, ready, steady, aye aye captain, off we go, heading towards home. Well done everyone. It's time for our cool down so that we can relax and get ready for the rest of our day. We're going to start with our ballet fingers. This helps us stretch through our hands and fingers. It's a really nice one to help us relax. So you could think about bringing your fingers together or perhaps trying a thumbs up or just opening and reaching through your hands and fingers. That's lovely. So we're bringing them together, we're opening and then relaxing. And somebody could help you do that if that's helpful. So they could open your hands and fingers, maybe even put a little pressure on the ends of your fingers. Opening and stretching. Well done. Next, we're going to come into a circle. So you could do a circle through your wrists like this, using your hands and fingers again as well. Or you might like to do a circle with your head. Or maybe your eyes. Or maybe your shoulders. Or somebody might be able to draw a circle on the top of your hand so you can feel that shape. Well done, that's really nice. Let's keep our circles going. Lovely. Next, we're going to make ourselves long and stretch through our whole bodies. So we have a big reach and then we relax it down and float as we come down. So you could do that with your arms, having a big reach up and then float down. Or you might want to think about stretching through the centre of your body and then relaxing. Or maybe use your head going up and down. Or your eyes up and down. Or maybe shoulders up and down. Keep having a go in your own way. Lovely. Make sure you relax every time you come down. So we go long and down. Well done everyone, that's really good. Next we're going to stretch the side of our body. And we're going to think about just moving our head to one side to start with and see if we get a stretch down the side of our neck. Lovely, let's try the other side. Very nice. Now let's see if we can stretch the side of our body a bit more. We find thinking about a rainbow shape is quite helpful for that one. So you could draw a rainbow with your arms or maybe you draw it with your eyes. Thinking about going up and over or with your head up and over. You can also make rainbow shapes with your fingers or like this. There's lots of different ways Let's have another go. Keep moving through your rainbows. Well done, everybody. Very nice. 
Okay, next we're going to see if we can make the flamingo chick's petals appear. Now to do that, we have to go really small with our bodies and then we go really big and we hope that the petals come out. So let's go small. So we go small, we're gonna bring everything in. We're gonna give ourselves a little squeeze as well. So we go small and squeeze. Are you ready to go big? Here we go. Ready, steady, go big. <gasps> wow, you did it. That's amazing. Let's do that again. So we go small and squeeze. Ready, steady, big. <gasps> wow. One more. Small and squeeze. And big. <gasps> Fantastic, everybody. And relax there. Thank you for joining us and dancing today. There's more to explore if this made you say hooray. We have science experiments and arts and crafts for you to try and you can send us your pictures, we would love to say hi. We'll see you next time.